Not everyone is bowing to China, though. The United Kingdom, for instance, today the British Parliament's Defence Committee came out with a report. They have found, quote-unquote, clear evidence of collusion between Huawei and the Chinese Communist Party. This report drives another nail into Huawei's coffin in the UK. Earlier, the British Parliament had already made plans to phase out Huawei by 2027. Now, based on this report, the UK may have to remove the equipment earlier than planned. So what does the report say? It cites a venture capitalist, a man who claimed that the Chinese government financed the growth of Huawei with $75 billion in the last three years, $75 billion of government money for a private company. This cash injection allowed Huawei to sell its equipment at a quote-unquote ridiculously low price. The report also mentions a claim by a researcher. It says that Huawei has engaged in a variety of of, and I'm quoting again, intelligence, security and intellectual property activities. In the end, the lawmakers concluded that Huawei has strong links to the Communist Party and the Chinese state. None of this is news, really. But the fact that it's coming as a part of an official report is significant. The UK may phase out Huawei. What about India? Will Huawei continue to be part of India's 5G rollout? India wants to reduce its dependence on Chinese tech companies. And while there's no official decoupling from Huawei, multiple other efforts are on, like what happened yesterday. India and Japan have finalized an ambitious agreement on cyber security. This will boost India's cooperation with Japan on 5G and critical information infrastructure. The deal was finalized during External Affairs Minister S. Jay Shankar's visit to Tokyo. He was there for the Quad meeting, the alliance between India, Japan, Australia and the US. Now, a day after that Quad engagement, Jay Shankar met Japan's foreign minister. Remember, Japan recently had a leadership change with Shinzo Abe making way for Yoshihide Suga as prime minister. The government of Japan remains committed to strong ties with India. Under the new administration of Prime Minister Suga, there is no change that we will retain a strong emphasis on strategic ties with India. I'd like to continue aligning with Foreign Minister Jay Shankar to further enhance the Japan-India special strategic and global partnership. So India and Japan will collaborate on 5G. Does that mean Huawei is out? Will India ban Huawei? The government of India still does not have a clear position on the question of Huawei. Australia, Japan, the US, the UK and Taiwan have all banned this company. Huawei clearly has links with the Chinese government. It poses serious security threats. While India has not officially barred it, reports say the government is quietly sidelining Chinese tech giants, including this one. State-owned telecom companies have apparently been asked to keep Chinese equipment out of their network. Another report in August said that Indian officials are quietly pushing out Huawei from Indian networks. But as of today, it is still going to be part of 5G trials. So here's what we say. India took a position when it banned more than 100 Chinese apps. Huawei may not be easy, given its vast presence in the country, but it should not be treated any differently. New Delhi should make its curb on Huawei official and take a stand against China's neo-colonialism. Thank you for watching Gravitas on Vion's YouTube channel. If you want to stay up to date with what's happening around the world, then subscribe to our channel and don't forget to like and share. Thank you very much for watching. Vion, world is one.